Still on money matters. Hello, Oche Kitchen. My name is Chidima Nzadibe. I'm a banker by profession and I'm a prudent saver. I so much believe in savings and also understand the rudiments of savings. The first and paramount thing in savings is being able to discipline yourself. If you are not financially disciplined, you cannot be able to save. So you have to know that and you have to inculcate that habit. So now, let me take you a little bit more on savings, what it entails and what it's all about. Savings, savings can be seen as money set aside, a money that you don't have immediate need for. It's an income not spent. And it can also be refer, um, referred as um, a deferred consumption. It involves reducing expenditure or cost um, minimization. Savings and investment are related economic concepts because an increase in savings today will lead to increase in investments. While saving is setting aside money for emergencies or for future purchases. Investment, on the other hand, is buying assets such as stock, bonds, mutual funds, real estate, and um, etc. So, the expectation is that the investment will appreciate in value, yield income, and can be used as a collateral to fund the purchase of more assets. So savings is very, very, very good for anybody that want to have a bright, a sweet, and a good um, living. Benefit of savings. The benefit of saving is the interest you get where the investment benefit is the returns. Savings is for smaller or shorter term goals, while investment is for bigger and longer term goals. So you can see the difference between the two here. So when you're considering one, you have to you know, factor in each. So I urge you all to make a conscious effort to save today, because a small saver today becomes the larger or the bigger saver tomorrow. Let your money work for you. Don't just keep it idle. Now, let's talk about the methods of savings. You know, a lot of people still find it difficult to, you know, discipline themselves. And um, if you apply the wisdom, which is financial discipline, you can actually achieve that. Okay, let's say you don't know how to save. Now, this is one of the methods that you can use. One, you can do it in a deposit account. An account that you can make a standing order that you don't have to touch, no matter anything. You just keep the money there until unforeseen circumstances occur. You understand? Yes, so you can have um, a pension account. You know, people that are working already have... Um, a retirement savings account which is a mandatory scheme so you whether you're an entrepreneur or you're in a, in a paid employment you can also have a pension account for yourself and be saving a portion of amount that um, you don't want to touch also you can have an investment fund you know investment fund investment fund you know the money that you have accumulated over time you now put it in any variable investment that will be appreciating and be giving you returns. So when you apply all this, my sister, my brother, I tell you, the sky is just a starting point. Why is it Why is it important to save? It is very important to save because we can't predict the future. Now tell me, do you know what will happen tomorrow? I don't know. Just like the situation we find ourselves in the world today, nobody anticipated it. Nobody, I myself never thought that this kind of thing would be happening at this point. You know, everything just comes to standstill. You can't even plan. You don't, in fact, you don't even have a plan. 
So it is very important because you can't predict this future. So the savings will help you become financially freedom and secure. It provides a safety ground in case of any eventualities or emergency. So that is why it is very, very important for you to save. And it gives you, you know, it provides a financial backup for any life uncertainties and increase the feeling of security and peace of mind. You know, think about it. You want to buy a car? The money is already there. You don't have to think, how do I go about it and all that. Because once you have emergency fund, which is your accumulated savings put somewhere, you know, the savings increases because you can't just keep it idle. You, it keeps investing it, investing it, and it will be yielding returns for you. So, make a conscious effort to save today. Because once you have that habit, once you discipline yourself, you will not have to worry. You will not have any cost to feel any insecure. You will be able to afford any luxury that you want for yourself. So, give it a try and thank me later. Thank you, Oki Chekichu, for this opportunity. And I believe that I have made an impact in someone's life today. Thank you and have a lovely evening. Bye.